Okay, hello, it is I, Cabria, with another video. Once again, it's our monthly reads wrap up. So this month is March, and I'll be honest, I have not really been feeling it much this month. So I haven't been reading quite as much as I really could have been or should have been. So I've only read five books. Um, and it wasn't until like halfway through the month that I even read the first book. And it's because, I'll be honest, so the first book I read is The Wicker King by Kay Ankrum. And I've been wanting to read this book for a while. And I've had this book for a while. But I, you know, reading so much effort, let's be honest. And so I didn't, when I didn't read it for a while. And then some of it I follow on Instagram. She posted that she started reading it and she posted a picture of the dedication and I love the dedication so much that I was like you know what I want to read this right now so I did um the dedication says this book is dedicated to all the kids whose arms are filled with too much for them to hold but who are trying their best not to drop a single thing I see you and I am proud of you for trying and I don't know why but I wanted I wanted it to read this book immediately after that dedication like I just I don't even know if you can see this well but this dedication I just I needed to read it immediately and this was just further proof and so I read it I think I read it in about a day and I was so scared for it to end I it was just I was scared of the ending because it's just like as you you see this it starts off light and then the pages get darker so pages start off like white and then after a while I'm gonna be talking about this book for a minute you see that the gray starts seeping in through the edges until the pages progressively gets darker and then they get grayer and grayer and the edges get darker until the pages are just full-on black and when I noticed that that was happening I was terrified for what that meant for the end of this book especially the direction the book was going but it was such a good read and I'm really happy that I read it. I'd been hearing so much about it for so long that I bought it and then never read it. So uh, this was a great book. I would definitely recommend it. I've been Jack in August. I see them in a lot of places. I was watching, what was I watching the other day? I was watching something and I was like, this, this make me makes me think of Jack in August. But truthfully, I don't remember what it was. Oh, I was watching Where Your Eyes Linger. And I was like, this makes me think of Jack and August wholeheartedly. Um, anyways, that was the first book I read this month. And then I didn't read for a bit yet again until I, I was in the mood to buy some people books. So I messaged a few people and were like, hey, either I messaged two people and were like, what books do you want? And then another two people, I bought them books. I already knew that they wanted. And so one of them being the next book that I read this month which is all oh, my pages are bent how sad then i read the hint wars by adiba jagadar i really hope i didn't mess it up but i mean i most likely did and i apologize wholeheartedly but this was such a good interesting book this book my friend bought this for me last year because i've been wanting it so badly and i was so super excited about it don't know what i almost said but anyway i was super excited about this book and i put off reading it for so long like i do with almost every book that i've ever been excited to read and i was supposed to read them with my friends i was supposed to be my motivation but they took forever to start reading it so it just helped me further procrastinate from reading it but finally i bought two of my friends the ones that i was supposed to read with this book and I was like start reading it with me so my friend Casey she started reading so I started reading and I am so sad that I just was not as invested in this as I was hoping to be and it wasn't a bad book and it, it proves how well the writing was that I really couldn't stand most of the characters because a lot of the characters you're not supposed to like <sighs> but it was just I couldn't I just couldn't care about really any of them that much and so it was hard to stay into it but i did like the ending um and i liked the representation in the story and i liked the messages in the story i just couldn't stand most of the characters and so it was a good book but i wasn't feeling the characters so it kind of like dropped my interest a bit um 
but I'm still excited for her next book that comes out May 25th I think I am doubly excited for this than I was this one um also something I appreciate that she does is she'll tell you she gives you content warnings in the beginning of her books and from what people who've already received arcs of the next book have said it seems like she did it for the next one I really appreciate that like sorry my things fell out of it I really like that it's this book contains instances of racism homophobia bullying and a character being outed I've never seen that happen in like a book especially a YA book um but yeah so that was my second book this month and I just I was okay and then I read Fable by Adrian Young this is another book I've been wanting to read for forever and one of the reasons I put off reading it for so long is because I don't like reading incomplete series so if the series is not completed Unless it's something I just feel like I need to read right then, I will wait until the series is completed. I will have a book three, four years until all the books are out before I read them. It has happened time and time again. And so I was like, not reading this until the second book comes out because it's a duology. So all I had to do was wait. I love duologies because you only have to wait one year for the next book in most cases versus two, three years for three or four books to come out. So... I was excited when March 16th hit and the sequel Namesake came out so I could read this. And to be fair, I had an arc of Namesake, but I put off reading it for so long. But I read it and I also was not feeling it. I think there was just something wrong with me this month because I just wasn't feeling any of the books that I read, to be honest. Um, But, I mean, this book isn't technically about pirates, but... Oh, I forgot I had used a, a, a candy wrapper thing as a bookmark, even though I have a ton of bookmarks. Um, I lost my train of thought. Clearly, I'm not all the way here. So mind me, because this is taking me seven minutes just to talk about halfway talk about three books versus usually I get through this faster and I've read 10, 11 books each month before now but yes I was not it wasn't about pirates or anything but I just wasn't fully feeling it because I still kind of had that vibe they spend so long off at sea on these boats and I don't know it was kind of pirate like in a way to me I just was not that invested I only cared about one character I only cared about West and how he got in the situation he did that was about it everyone else was just kind of there and so I was just like oh this is okay I was a little disappointed and then because I read that and this had just come out I read namesake the sequel and I like this one a little bit more than I did the first one um this one was a little easier I think because by now I have a problem staying invested in books when I have to learn new things about people and that's just a me thing because you know in most books you have to learn these characters and the story in the world and sometimes it's hard for me to get invested in it I think that's why I spend so much time reading fan fictions instead of actual books because I already know these characters super well in the world that they're in well enough that I don't need like all the background I could just jump right into a story versus most books you have to like, you know, learn the stories and learn the world as you're going through it. And sometimes it's just hard for me to get into it. So it was easier to get into the second book because I'd read the first one and I knew most of the characters. I knew the world. Um, It was all right. I liked it a little bit more. I appreciated the ending a lot. That's I really liked how they handled the story in the end and the possibilities of, you know, the characters. The potential for them in the future so I, I appreciated this and I'm, honestly I, I just need to point out something just just something I just need to point it out like just look at how beautiful I just I love seeing these two books together I am obsessed I am in love and I, I love the covers I, they're so pretty I like how it says traitor fighter survivor and traitor fighter legend like this is you can't tell me nothing nothing beats this um so those were okay um 
like I said, I just wasn't wholeheartedly feeling them, but I got through them. They weren't that long, so I finished them each in about a day. Um, cause re okay, I really I read slow, but I don't read slow slow. I read slow because I can't stay focused, and so it'll take me like a whole day to finish a book that I can finish truthfully in like five hours. Which feels slow to me because everyone else I know can just read a book like this and I read like, I feel like I read at a snail's pace. But if I, there's absolutely no distractions whatsoever, I can really finish a book in like five, six hours. But usually I get constantly distracted and I can't focus and so it takes me the entire day with all these distractions. But that was all I had read for a while until today I was like... And like I said, I don't read slow, slow. So I could have finished way more books and I haven't been that busy. So I had the opportunity to, I've just not been feeling it, like I said. And so each day I was like, well, I still have six more days of the month. I can finish six more books and it just wasn't happening. So today, the last day of the month, I was like, okay, I'm out of time. I need to read something small, something really quick, just so I could at least say I met half my goal. Because my goal is 10 books a month. I can make, truthfully, I can make twice it if I wanted to. But like I said, me and attention is just not. So my goal was 10 books a month. And I was like, I can do it. And then I didn't, I didn't feel like it. So I was like, I could at least reach five. I could at least, at least, I cannot speak. I'm so sorry if you're wasting your time with this video with me today. But I could not speak. And today I was like, I can, I can read a book. And I started a longer book this morning. And I was like, let's be real. I'm not feeling it because I was up until 9 a.m. just to wake right back up at 11 so I didn't feel like reading and so when 10 o'clock hit I was like I have two hours left I need to find something really small really quick so I read The Dragon of Venus by Manera Garadin. Saradin? I can't tell if that's a C or a G. I read this because this book is only like 120 pages it's really thin um and it took me about an hour and some change to finish it so like I said, I read slow, but not slow, slow. Um, and it was pretty interesting. I liked it. I appreciated it. It was a a nice way to end it. I really just like, I don't know. It just felt like so wholesome. I really enjoyed it. It was just so wholesome and so quick. Um, So those were the five books I read this month. And this video just, just there, I felt like there was no enthusiasm in it whatsoever. And clearly I'm looking bummish today, so um thank you if you bothered to watch this video because now I have to go film another one for the books I got this month. So until next time, see you on the flip side.